Hamilton here. Just want to make this quick video for you on sources of information to help you when you're looking to put together your either web content or articles you might want to write. Um, and some interesting sources that some people often overlook uh, as far as um, trying to try to find new interesting and unique information that you can merge together uh, for, for your website content or articles first place we're going to look at is Google News. Um, now I've done a search here as you can see for resveratrol um, which is um, a substance that's been found in in red grapes uh, and consequently goes into wine which is why I like drinking the stuff um, which is supposed to have a very you know a lot of anti-cancer properties um, so it's a new and hot subject and as you can see 180 sources of news on resveratrol. Um, now, Google News searches over 4,500 news sources, so it's a huge source of information, news from all around the world. And I like to use Google News um, to look for quotes and interesting information that I can actually take and use to base an article around. So, a really excellent source of uh, of information for you there, uh, Google News. Now, um, the next one I want to have a look at is uh, where is it? Here we are. Google blog search. Um, <laughs> I did a really silly thing here. I, I typed in lose weight, and as you can see, th over 3.3 million sources of um, information on blogs about how to lose weight. Um, you know, you can look into any of these, and there, there's free articles on this one. Um, you've been a bit slow to download tonight. Oh, there we go. There it is. No, it doesn't want to play. Oh well, we won't bother with that one then. Um, but um, as you can see, lots and lots of sources there of information on blogs. Uh, the thing with blogs is just be a little careful with the information on blogs uh, because it is people's opinion as opposed to necessarily hard and fast information. But you can also look at the comments that people make on blogs uh, because that's a great way of looking at the discussions and the hot, hot discussion points that there might be around a given subject. Um, Next, we're going to have a look at groups. I've gone into Yahoo Groups here. Um, let's just go back a page there. Um, and literally, here's the front front page of Yahoo Groups. Uh, I just search on fitness there. Um, that's uh, groups.yahoo.com. Uh, <laughs> there's all sorts of groups here. An all brand group. Um, what have we got here? Plan for a balanced life. Uh, let's have a look in there and see what we've got. So 6,800 odd members. So this is quite an interesting group if, you, if you're looking to write articles around balance life. Not necessarily constipation. <laughs> Sometimes you can't odds it, can you? I didn't, didn't realise that uh, that group was going to be about that particular subject. Um, but um, if you're looking to, to write articles about balance in life, in, in the things that you eat and what have you, then what a great group to go into and, and find out what the hot discussion topics are. Uh, leave your comments and, and look at areas that you can use as a basis for an article and take information from all of these sources and merge them together uh, maybe into your your own um, your own articles now another so, uh, source is Google Scholar which is scholar.google.com uh, this is much more academic in nature um, so um, let's have a look at resveratrol again because I know that's quite a hot subject uh, and see what we come up with and look at this uh, oh goodness me 72,500 sources so this is obviously being talked about a lot in academia uh, and you would probably get some pretty leading edge information uh, by looking at Google Scholar and this really is a, a source of information that lots of people just totally ignore or, or, or don't even know about but here we are a great source of articles on resveratrol PDFs loads and loads of different um, subjects all covered from an academic standpoint so you probably get some quite in-depth and very very interesting information that would end up being quite unique on on a salesy sort of site um, so some really good areas that you can go into there uh, and look for information to help you with your web content and any articles you might want to write. Uh, as always, thanks very much for watching and of course to your success.